What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the first episode of ARK. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we create our characters. So anyways, I wanted to get this process in because I figured it would be pertinent to just about everybody. We're going to make a character today and if you haven't heard about what ARK Survival Evolved is, you've probably been under a rock, but that's okay. I'm going to lift it up for you and I'm going to let you know. It's a survival game that just came out today that has to do with survivors on an island with guns and dinosaurs and dragons. It gets a little bit crazy, but I'm pretty excited about the prospects of checking it out it looks like this guy's gonna block off a whole bunch of our air oh we can go with like different hair colors from right there okay let's get a little bit of like a yeah there we go that'll work for me I think I'm gonna make a female character the male character's a little bit over burly dude looks like he's been hitting the creatine real real hard so I think I'm just gonna walk away from that one I should be like damn dude slow down at the gym you don't need to do any more flies you won you're done at the gym like you're done with this game right here this is like getting first place and yet you still keep playing just eh, whatever Anyways, unless you're going to Mr. Universe, no thank you. We'll just go with her for right now. I think that her face, I don't really want to modify too much because it doesn't look like there's presets for any of that, and I'm terrible at getting things to work out. Her arms look a little odd, though. It's just me. I think her, I mean, she's beef caked out, and that's not what I mean by it. She looks like a girl that goes to the gym pretty frequently. Is no stranger to hard work. Probably has rough hands. But anyways, her arms look a little bit like her shoulders. Is she pulling them back? It's a little bit weird the way that's modeled. Okay, well, never mind. I'm not going to focus on it too much. So let's bring those out a tiny bit because I think that'll fix it up right there. And then once we bring those out a tiny bit, actually, that sort of made them look a lot better. Okay, so now with the arm length, maybe just a slight bit longer. Not too much because you don't want it to look too ridiculous. But I think if we can get the arms the right length, like I'm testing right now, like my arms go down to like mid thigh. So that seems about right. Can you go with hand size? Is that the... Ah, that might be the other thing. Is her hands look a little bit large. That'll work out right there. Upper arm, maybe take that down slightly. Just, eh, I don't want him to look, like, super skinny, though. Make it look like she done some pull-ups or something. There we go. That'll work pretty well. That's looking good to me. I think that'll work out for right now. Let's have a look here. Is there anything else that I could fiddle with, or is that just about it? We got eye color in there. Can I actually see the eye color? How do I get the... Oh, you can actually move that whole thing around, too. Swing this way. There we go. And so she's got green eyes right now. Let's go after... I'll probably just go with brown eyes or something. Those are, like, reddish, though. Hmm. I'm bad with colors. There we go. That looks brownish. That seems like it's in the region of brown. And then we needed... Is there any other hairstyles in here anywhere? It looks like their skin color. We can go a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. Okay. I'm thinking that since she's been in the sun so much, she's probably a little bit darker. It would make more sense that way. And then for a name, I suppose what we can do is we might be able to re-evoke, I don't know, we'll just call her Mad Dog, oh, no, not Modag, Mad Dog for right now. And then we'll create a new survivor along, I guess, the southern coast, and we'll hope that we don't get camped. I am playing on a slightly less populated server because I wanted to check the game out in a way where we wouldn't get bothered too much as we were learning to play, but at the same time, there are like 10 or 20 people on right now, so we'll see what happens. But I didn't want to log into the server that was like maxed out because I figured it would be a mess. All right, things looking kind of pretty right now. Looking fairly decent. Cool. Whoa! What? No way. So we got like an Apatosaurus, or... I mean, I would say Brontosaurus, but they don't really use that terminology anymore. Brontosaurus is actually... Whoa, watch that tail. That tail would be real dangerous. kind of like dealing with elephants. They don't tell you this. When you deal with elephants or any large creature with a big-ass tail, most animals are not aware of their tail and the way it moves around. You can actually be, like, knocked unconscious by an elephant's tail. He'll do it on purpose sometimes, too, because he doesn't like you, but... Wow, that's intense. What's up, Dino? Oh my god, you're so shiny. You're so shiny and incredible, and I just want to hang out with you and hug you forever. Oh, that's the best. You want to be my pet? I swear to god, I'll give you all the things you like. Why does your neck have a seam? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I like your teeth. Your teeth are pretty big. Please don't step on me. I would love, what is this? A wild male Bronto. Oh, they did use the old terminology. Okay. So Brontosaurus is actually, this is coming, I took paleontology classes in college. Every geologist takes paleontology classes because that's how you identify rock layers and things like that in the field is you have to know your paleontology in order to properly be a geologist. And so still, it's an antiquated term, Brontosaurus. I forgot why they got rid of it. I think it had something to do with some naming dispute or something like that. Or they found out that Apatosaurus had been used first or something like that because there's naming schemes that go along with the whole thing. What are those, Dilophosaurs? 
Dude, is that an Ankylosaurus over there? I'm gonna go touch it. Let's go touch the Ankylosaurus. Dinosaurs, I'm just... What, what was that? Oh, there's a dead guy. What does he have? Fibers? An important specimen? I'm gonna take all your stuff. He had a stone pickaxe. Ooh. All right. So now we got a stone pickaxe. Can I hit this rock right here? No, I cannot hit that rock. Oh, we did hit that. Okay, so we got some flint. We got some stone. Ooh. I don't know my own strength. This lady knows how to swing that thing. Okay. All right. I don't mean to pick at you, but I just kind of want to grab this stuff over here. I don't know what it's going to do for us, but maybe... Oh, my God. The rock turned green and exploded. It's olivine. All right. Well, what about these little rocks over here? Can I beat up all the little rocks? Is that possible? It is not possible. Okay. Ah, see the C button. A lot of people didn't believe me. In Metro Redux, people were like, C is never the crouch button. C? C is the crouch button in this one. They swap it in every single game, and I never know which one's being correct. So we can harvest from any rock that we want, which is pretty badass. I actually do really appreciate that as a feature. Let's take a look at our inventory, and we've got engrams. Okay, come back when you have more engram points available to learn new engrams. Do I kill stuff? Like, what happens if I murder something? We got that over there. We can crouch through that menu right there. So, oh, that guy's got a pickaxe. What is he running from? I don't trust that for a heartbeat. No. Are you going to be unkind to me? Or do you want to be friends? If you're going to be unkind, you're walking in kind of a creepy fashion. I don't really like it. You are the creeper of the dinosaur world. I hope you know that. I want you to fully appreciate this moment right now. I'm not just being mean to you. Can I chop down a tree? Oh, you can get some thatch and some wood, too. Hooray! It's a typical survival game. We've been in here for five minutes. We've already got wood for everything on offer. Good, 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 good. Well, Dilophosaurus chilling for a little bit. That's not an Ankylosaurus. I'm disappointed. That's just a big-ass toidle. Them toidles. Let's see. It's a wild. It's a Carbonemus. Okay. What's up, Carbonemus? Your name seems like it's a little bit complicated for what you are, but I like your spiky shell. Can I murder you? I'm a little bit terrified to touch anything right now because I know it's going to go horribly wrong. It's weird how you all seem to just exist together in harmony. Like, shouldn't you all... A level up is available. Access your inventory to Appliate. Okay, so let's Appliate. Oh, cool. We can get, like, stamina. We can get oxygen. We get all kinds of good stuff up in here. I want movement speed. That seems like a good plan. And then... I thought the water was somebody shooting at me for a second. The water's shooting at me! I thought it was a really, really severe situation for us. I thought life was about to get real. I thought it was about to be very, very hectic up in here. Alright, well, let's go smackificate some rocks real fast. Yeah, there it is. All the rocks in the world, they are now ours. Hopefully we don't end up like that other guy. So basically the way this is going to work is unfortunately you can't just like stop playing this game. From what I understand watching streams last night, if you quit the game, your inventory falls on the ground and it doesn't actively like save. And so basically you just play until I guess you need to log out. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work for the rest of the day. I'm hoping we can get some stuff here. Oh, you were tired. Stop moving for a moment to regain some stamina. Okay. So which one is my... I think it's a little lightning bolt down in the bottom right-hand corner. And then we got like a weight allotment too. What is that? Can I pick that up? I don't know. I'm going to be out in the water though getting some rocks. It seems like a smarter idea. So it looks like flint is far more prevalent than a lot of the other stuff. That metamorphosed chert. Using it for all kinds of good stuff. Got a little bit of stone going in there too. Okay, there's no stone going in. I was trying to preempt it by being like, yeah, let's get some more stone. But apparently flint is where it's at. I've almost used up my entire pickaxe. Let's play, let's play around with some crafting, shall we? Let's have a look here. Let's have a look here. So we got 81. We got some wood right there. Flint on that side. An important specimen. Species Homo sapiens epoch 74. Okay, I don't know what that does, but sounds important. Let's see here. We have engram points. And so we can learn campfire. We can learn... I'm going to learn hatchet. I'm going to learn... So we've got hatchet. We need spear as well. Spear would probably be smart, although until we have campfire, how are we going to cook anything? So hopefully we level up again so that we can get some more engram points. And then once that's all done, life will be good maybe. All right. So we got that right there. Survival profile. What does that do? Kill the unlocks. We got some creature dossiers in here just in case you wanted to like take scientific advantage of the situation. I guess that works. Cool, cool, cool. I'm excited about this. This is working out pretty well so far. So we've got our Engram points. How do I make one of these though? I'm gonna go investigate that real fast and let's see if we can figure out a way to make some stuff, shall we? 
Okay, so I've got it all locked down. You gotta go to this little craftables menu right here. So you've got inventory items and craftables. And so now I suppose that we should probably come up with a way. Let's get a hatchet, I guess. I'll craft that up. Oh, yeah, there it goes right there. That's pretty badass. I really like the UI in this game. I like the way that everything feels. It feels very, very clean. And so where did that go in my inventory now? We've got the stone axe right there. Do I get XP for that? Is that the other half of the equation right here? Let's try it and let's watch over there real fast. So we'll make ourselves a new stone pick since ours is about to break anyways. And so it used up a bunch of our thatch and a bunch of our other good stuff. Yeah, we get like 1.1 XP for that. It's not much, but it'll help us move towards the end. It looks like the XP goes up over time as you just like do activities and so i figure we should probably do that let's close the inventory on down i think things are looking good right now performance is a little bit sketchy that's the only thing that i'll say is i actually have it on a medium setting right now and the game is pretty breathtaking to look at on high i'm dehydrated but find some water fast okay can i just drink it out of the lake over here or is that an ocean that's got to be an ocean Alright, well there's a possibility that we might die up and in here just because I don't even know what I'm looking for right now. Let's go after some fresh water maybe? I don't know, let's go have a look. Go ahead and smack on this for just a minute. We're not losing health or anything like that, so I'm not that terrified of it. However, are there any coconuts up the trees or anything like that? Can you climb the trees? Doesn't look like I can. Let me get my axe out and maybe when we chop it down we'll get something good. We got a whole bunch of wood right there. Hell yeah, a little bit of thatch going on as well. Oh, we got the loot. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Oh, we got this covered. We got this covered. Okay, so it didn't drop anything on the ground right there when we chopped it. I don't really want your wood right now. I'm selective about what wood I want to be a part of my life. And so being a little bit dehydrated and parched at the moment. Oh, we are losing health. Okay, so that's disappointing. We'll have to track down some water then. Hadn't really thought about it, but I suppose it is important. And we dehydrated out really, really fast. We're hot. Oh, wow, everything's going wrong right now. Okay, so we're in a world of hurt at the moment. A little bit disappointing, but I guess we'll just run with it for right now. Let's maybe... I'm still not seeing any coconuts at the top of trees or anything like that. I don't want to be, like, obsessive. There we go. I'm in the shade right now. Does the shade work? Oh my god, that chug. Is the shade going to save me from the heat? Is that working? Mm. Well, our character's moaning and groaning, so that's never a good sign. Maybe I have to drink the blood of a dinosaur. Maybe that's the only way to survive. You must drink the blood of the dinosaur. We have some serious issues, right? Oh, there's a campfire right there. Owned by somebody named Jane. So what can you do with a campfire? It must contain fuel. I think I can do that. I lied you. Okay, and then it cooks raw food. I don't really have any raw food, so I don't think that's going to help out very much. Let's stay on task here. Let's stay on task. There was a big shiny thing off this way. It was like lighting up the sky. It was like some kind of beacon or something. I don't know exactly what it was supposed to be, but it looked sort of important. It looked a little important. Our brontosaurus friend over on this side just hanging out, being a bronto, doing his thing, being a best pally. So what do we eat around here? I would assume dinosaur, right? That would be the manliest way to get myself fed. However, got like another pterodactyl pterosaur thing over here. All right. Well, I'm not seeing anything that looks super edible around here. What did it say? Use fists or a torch to harvest resources from this. Oh. Oh, you get fibers out of it. Oh, we got a Tinto Berry. Is a Tinto Berry a good thing? Is that something that I care about and or want? All right. A Mijo Berry, a Stim Berry, and an Amar Berry. Ooh, I learned things today. Okay, so what do these do? Hold on, can I eat these? Are they going to murder me when I try and eat them? I accidentally opened the console too because uh, I hate myself and I hate good gameplay videos. All right, so that goes wild berry. It's while not very tasty on its own, we can eat it. What does this one do? Tasty and we can make red dye out of it? Sure. Let's see here. Lose torpidity, but it will dehydrate you. Okay, we don't want that right now. We want a yellow berry as well. Okay, so these all look edible. Oh, I think we're looking... 
a little bit better. All right, so let's get on on this right now. Our health is a tiny bit low, but if we can get some more berries and whatnot, I think we'll be all right. No, I don't want that right there. Yeah, get those berries. Get those berries. Don't dehydrate right now. Now is not your time. Now is not your time. A couple more berries in there. Apparently, I'm going to have to eat a lot of berries before this falls apart. So let's just hustle this out as quickly as we can. Come on, berries. I love being berry sustained. Yep. Amar berries? Sure. I love Amar berries. Get as many as you can get. And then we're just going to shove them all into our gullet simultaneously. Looks like we are dehydrated again. All right. Come on. Eat all of those. No, we're going to be good in here. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we're getting there. We're getting there. You gotta press the Q key apparently, which makes you put your hands or your makes you put your weapons away so that you can harvest from bushes. Narco berries, that doesn't sound good. That sounds like it's probably gonna get us into trouble. Then again, we can write a song about it. A narco corrida. And so we'll go off on this side. Got a mejo berry. Come on, keep gathering. I believe in you. We need this really, really badly right now. I need you to not starve. That would be the best thing that could happen ever. Another narco berry. Hopefully that thing's not vicious. It's a triceratops, I think. I can't really tell from this angle, though. Yeah, it's a triceratops. Please don't be a dick, triceratops. I would really, really love it if you would not be a dick right now. And just please let me pick those berries. Like, those are triceratops' berries. Three horns is best horns. All right, well, we'll eat some of these guys. It looks like the only ones that hydrate me are the little blackberry look at things the azul berry okay so we got that right there we got 13 of those we don't want to drink we got a stim berry right there i don't want to get dehydrated that seems unpleasant and so let's not get dehydrated for right now we've got 13 of those so hopefully they do something useful there you go a whole bunch of azul berries and actually works sort of kind of a little bit hydrated now That'll buy us a little bit of time to wander around and scavenge further and see what we can accomplish here. All right, so we got that. I think we leveled up as well, but we'll handle that in just a minute when we're no longer in trouble. I don't think I just want... We got stim berries right there. Come on, Amar berries. You know, it makes me wonder if they're named after the Amar from EVE Online. I don't know. We'll grab that on that side. Grab that on that side. Okay, don't really want the narco berries, but whatever. That works. I wonder if I got to wait till the sun goes down. It's... Uh, I don't want to hit the tree. I want the stuff from over here. There we go. As many of these as I can take on board. It doesn't look like you get very many, so that's a little bit of a downer. We'll have to come up with a more... I'm, I'm just trying to travel right now, so if we can find a lake or something with fresh water, that over there has a predatory body. I don't know what that is, but it is definitely something that hunts other animals, and so I'm going to stay the hell away from it for right now. Hopefully it's not hungry. That's all that we can hope for. If it's hungry, we are in deep, deep Bantha Pudu. So I've got to hit this with an axe in order to get its resources. Does it drop anything else? Only thatch? Okay. Well, I'll take it for right now. We need to make ourselves some kind of shelter or some kind of location where we could hang out for a little bit and just make sure that we don't get sniped or murdered. Got dinosaurs everywhere. Let's see. I would like to continue raising my movement speed because you never know when you're going to have to run from something. We've got 10 Engram points, which means I'm going to take... Got a thatch foundation. We've got a water skin. Let me take the water skin real fast, and then we'll also take the spear. So I'm going to learn the water skin. I'll learn the spear. And then how do we make the water skin? Let's go back here. Craftables. Water skin consumable. We need hides in order to make that good to keep you hydrated, but it slowly leaks water. Okay, so let's make a spear first because I think we're going to have to hunt something. We'll craft a spear real fast. we got to find something small, though, like something we can pick on or something I guess we can spear on. Our pick is not the best tool for this job. We'll go back to our inventory real fast. Oh, it's raining. Cool. Does that help us hydrate? Can we just, like, stick our mouth up? Oh, it does. What a cool feature. I actually really, really appreciate that because I hate it in games where I'm dehydrated and, like, dying because I can't find water. And then when it rains, you can't just, like, sit there with your mouth open. Obviously, that would be a tough way to get yourself rehydrated. But at the same time, let's chop down some trees real quick. We got three woods and thatch right there. I think we've almost got enough. Our inventory is looking a little bit full. And so what I'm going to do is, I keep pressing the tab key to open my inventory for some reason. We'll put that in right there with the Tinto berries. So can I just like click on these and eat them? There we go. Amar berries. I can just take these all out of my inventory slots then and we can just eat them from inside the inventory. 
We've got the Tinto berries. I'm actually going to save those until I really, really need them. It looks like nighttime is coming, which is slightly worrying. We might want to consider making a campfire or something. So how does a spear work? We just, yep. Okay, point that end at thing we want dead. That works out. Works out perfectly fine for me. They've always said that I was spiritual. This is what they meant. So at night, we're probably going to have to deal with predators or something. Not that I want to deal with cloaking aliens right now. But we want to find a location where we can't be attacked from like every direction. And what we'll do is we'll take our craftables for right now. Let's make ourselves a campfire. And hopefully we don't get cold. I don't know exactly. We've got crafting speed. We've got torpor. Torpor, I assume, is just like how tired we are. I'm not exactly sure how that applies, but we'll play around with an inventory space. We've got the campfire right there. Let's use it. Oh, it's on now. Okay, and so now we're going to throw a little bit of wood in there, I think. And so if we wanted to control... Okay, so we can control drag a couple of... Well, I guess we're going to control drag. Okay, so we shift drag that right there. We'll light that. Can I cook these? Can I do anything with these right here? If I can cook them, that would be fantastic. Now I can't cook them for extra nutrition. Well, on the plus side, we can see now... I will say this, the game chugs really, really hard. As far as the optimization of the engine goes, I think you're going to have a hard time because I'm running GTX like 9. I got basically top level stuff right now. I built this computer probably three or four months ago for streaming, like specifically for streaming, and I'm only getting 30 frames out of it on medium settings. So I'm thinking it's probably going to need a little bit of loving as far as the engine goes. Was that me or was that something else? I think we're probably going to wait this one out till morning. Let's do that. Once morning gets here, we're going to go for a hunt. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of ARK. I will see you all later. Hi, do, everybody.